hello everyone welcome to chirag docker tutorial in this video we are going to learn how to configure the mysql and php my admin without password so whenever we are accessing through the php my admin for the mysql database so we no need to enter the login and password and we are going to throw the directly uh, docker run not with the composer so all the details step by step process i have shown you the full video so this is the beginner friendly guide and but uh, page might be accessible without any login and username and password for learning and testing purpose only not recommended for the production use so everything still uses the simple docker run command and no docker compose will be there so you can go through the full video regarding the installation and configuration and all the steps i have shown you on the full video so what you will build out with this the final result mysql database running in docker php might be gui no login required persistent database storage and browse and command line access we have a ubuntu 24.04 lts server running with the vmware park station we have internet connection very basic uh, terminal knowledge will be there so there is a update removing the all docker if already installed and here we are creating uh, adding the gpg key repository and finally we are updating and installing the docker here we are uh, running one container that is a mysql database and second container is the php my admin we are using the same network so there is a network will we are using the mysql underscore net we have created and we have using the shared this network and we are accessing through the GUI version. So here you can see our list of the databases. So demo DB is there, user table is there. When we are going through the user table, we have a data and this is the data. And same data is reflecting in the, our command line also. Okay. So both the way you can access the database. So all the things are there. So disclaimer is the all trademarks logo name belong to their respective owner. This video made only for the education information purpose under the fair use section 107 copyright act 1976. And you can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, WhatsApp channel and Telegram channel for the latest update. Follow the process exactly shown in the video. Share this YouTube video with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe for the free tutorial learning content. Don't forget to follow, like, share and comment. Hope this will help. Thank you for watching.